do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in this video we are going to study about the instrument digital multimeter we will study that what is a digital multimeter its various parts its block diagram and in the last we will study the various applications of the digital multimeter so let us start with our topic the digital multimeter or we can say the multimeter it is the basic instrument which is found in any of the electronics and electrical laboratories this multimeter it is used for the measurement of ac and dc currents ac and dc voltages and the resistances in the various ranges so we can say that the use or this digital multimeter it is an instrument so digital multimeter it is an instrument which is going to measure both the alternating voltages and the direct current voltages ac and dc currents it can measure and it can measure resistances also over a wide range now this digital multimeter it this word it consists of two terms digital and multimeter digital means that this instrument it is going to give us the output in a digital form means in the form of numbers it is going to display the output whereas this multimeter this word means that it is a metering device which is going to measure something and multi means that for various types of measurements it can be used okay so digital means so digital multimeter it come the when we combine these two terms it means it's a device it's an instrument which is going to measure various types various parameters one or more parameters it can measure and it is going to give the output of or it is going to give the value of that parameter in the form of a digital output or on the lcd screen it is going to give us the output now if we see that how a digital multimeter looks then let's see the picture of a digital multimeter this is a digital multimeter in which we are having an lcd display on this lcd display that is liquid crystal display we are going to get the output the digital output of the multimeter on this digital multimeter front panel you can see we are having a knob which is the selector rotatory switch so here on this panel we are having a knob which is the selector rotatory switch because this multimeter it can be used for the measurement of various parameters like voltage current and resistance it can be used as a voltmeter also it can be used as an ammeter also and as an ohmmeter also so to select that for which measurement we are using this multimeter we have a selector rotatory switch then we are having the dc voltage range in this side and the dc current range on this side here we have the ac voltage wavy line when we represent the ac voltage it is represented like this 
okay now this uh, range is for the resistance which is in the ohms voltage we measure in volts current we measure in amperes and resistance is measured in ohms so we have the various ranges for the volts um, ampere and the ohms then we have the different knobs here like we have a positive jack and a negative jack the positive wire it can it is used for most of the measurements and this negative jack it is it will act as a common for the device then here we have a speaker symbol okay this is for the continuity test so these are the different parts of the digital multimeter let us the uh, study these parts one by one So the first part of the digital multimeter is the display screen. The digital multimeter is having an illuminated display screen. So for better visualization, like if we are working in a dim light, so it will be easy for us to read the readings from the digital multimeter. So it is having an illuminated display screen for better visualization. Also, it is having a five digit display over the screen. From these five digits, one digit is for the sign that whether it is negative or positive and the remaining four digits are for the number representation. So suppose we are having minus, which is our, uh, like here we are having the one, two, three, four, five five digit display so first digit is for the sign that whether it is negative or positive and second third fourth and fifth these remaining four digits are for the number like it can have any value from zero to nine okay so the display screen or the LCD screen of the multimeter, it is going to have a five digit display over it. The next part is the selection knob. As I have told that the multimeter, it can be used for various measurements like for voltage, current and resistance. So to choose that which measurements we are doing, we have a selection knob. So you can see that in this diagram we are having the selector rotatory switch. This switch can be rotated like for voltage measurements we can put this knob at in this position. For current measurements it will be in this position and for uh, resistance measurement the selector switch will be in the resistance range. Okay. So through this selection knob the various types of selection for the different measurements can be done. The next important part of multimeter is the port. You can see here that we are having different ports here. One is the positive jack and second is the negative jack. So there are two ports. One is the milliampere voltage and ohms 
port because it is measuring the current voltage and the resistance so current is measured in amperes here we can measure the current in milliamperes voltage can be measured in volts and resistance is measured in ohms so this port is uh, the positive uh, electrode or the positive uh, the probe or if, because in the multimeter we are having two probes one is the red probe and second is the black probe so red probe it is for the positive and black probe it is for the negative or we can say the common probe okay so black probe is connected to this com port and the red probe positive it is connected to the milliampere volts and ohm port now in this uh, multimeter we are having a uh, 10 ampere port also so if we want to measure the current which is in the range greater than 10 amperes we can use this port So in the picture, you can see that we are having a 10 ampere jack. So whenever we want to measure large currents, we can connect the probe into this jack here. Now, uh, all the parts we have discussed here, we have a continuity test also. So these are the different parts of the digital multimeter. Now let us come to the block diagram of the digital multimeter. If we see the block diagram, you can see that in the block diagram because it is used for voltage, current and resistance measurements. So it will have the procedure for all these three types of measurements. Here we have the input probes. We have seen that there are two input probes. One is the red probe and second is the black probe. Red probe is connected, treated as the positive and black probe is connected as the common or the negative. So positive that is the red probe is here. Then we have the rotatory switch. If we want that the voltage measurement is done, then it will be at the ACV position. If we want that alternating voltage is measured. If we want that DC voltage is measured, then it will be at the fifth position where we are having DCV. If we want that alternating current is to be measured, then it is ACI. And if we want that a direct current is measured, then this is at DCI. If we want the resistance measurement, then the rotatory switch will be at the first position. So for these five types of measurements, one is for the resistance. Two is for the ACV, that is the alternating voltage. AC is for the alternating and V is for the voltage. The third switch it is for the ACI that is for alternating current. Fourth is for DCI direct current. And fifth is for DCV, that is direct voltage. So fourth and fifth are for the DC measurements and second and third are for the AC measurements. So this rotatory switch, rotatory switch or the selection knob, it is going to be at different positions for the different measurements. Now we have here the constant current source because when we want that, uh, we want to measure the resistance, we want the value of voltage and the current so that we can apply the Ohm's law. So current will be given by this constant current source and voltage is provided here because when we connect the probes it will be connected to the power supply and power supply will provide us a voltage value. So voltage is from here 
constant current sources here so we can measure the resistance it is going to just uh, apply the ohms law v equals to i r so r will be equals to v by i then an amplifier is connected amplifier is going to amplify this signal convert it into the digital form and give us a digital output on the digital screen lcd screen then if we want to measure the voltage so again the voltage is measured here we are having a calibrated attenuator then a rectifier circuit because uh, here dc voltage is given so this dc voltage have to be converted into ac value so we are having a rectifier circuit we are having here from here we are getting the current to voltage converter and then this analog signal will be converted into the digital output and the output will be displayed on the screen here we are having current to voltage converter because from here the current is available and current is flowing in the circuit we have to convert it into the ac form we are measuring the ac current okay so here current to voltage converter is there again rectify a circuit which is going to rectify the noise signals analog to digital converter and then digital output this is for the dc measurements that is dc current and the dc voltage so for the voltages we are using the attenuators and for the current we are using the current to voltage converters okay so this is the block diagram of the digital multimeter so let's see that how we are uh, what is the description of this block diagram what are the functions of these various elements So current is converted into voltage by passing it through a low shunt resistance. So here we are having the current to voltage converter. Then here we are, uh, if we want to convert the AC quantities into DC quantities, we have the various rectifier and the filtering circuits. You can see that for the conversions into the AC, AC quantities into the DC quantities, we are using this rectifier circuit. So resistance measurements, they consist of the low current source. We are having here the constant current source which is providing the current and the input voltage is provided from here. So we are getting the value of the resistance. So this is the description of the various functional blocks that why we are using the rectifier circuit and the analog and digital converter for what purpose we are using them. Now let us see that how, uh, what are the various applications of this digital multimeter. As I have said that this multimeter it is used for the measurement of AC and DC currents, AC and DC voltages and the resistance. So let us see that how the voltages and the currents and resistance they are measured with it. First we will see the measurement of voltage.
so uh, the digital multimeter it can measure the ac voltage also and dc voltage also so when we are measuring the ac voltage the input voltage which is the direct voltage it is going to fed through a calibrated compensated attenuator then it is given to a precision full wave rectifier which is going to convert the dc voltage into the ac voltage and then it is passed through a ripple reduction filter which is going to filter the signals the ripples will be removed from it and you can see here we are having the acv that is for the ac voltage measurement first we are passing the dc voltage from a calibrated attenuator which is going to attenuate the signal then rectifier which is going to convert it into an ac voltage then the uh, this uh, dc voltage is converted into ac voltage so now this ac voltage it is having the analog form so analog form will be converted into the digital form using this analog to digital converter and the digital output is displayed over the screen so for the measurement of the ac voltages the circuitry used is a attenuator then full wave rectifier a ripple reduction filter and an a to d converter so this is how the measurement of the voltage is done then measurement of current So for the current measurements, the vo voltage drop across an internal calibrated shunt is measured directly by the ADC. So the value of shunt is known to us, means the resistance value is known. And also we are measuring the voltage drop across it. So the current is measured directly by the A to D converter in the DC current mode. If we want to measure the DC current, then directly we will use the Ohm's law V equals to IR. So current will be equals to V by R. Okay. So voltage drop we have measured across that shunt and shunt value is also known to us. So DC current can be directly measured. And if we want to measure the AC current, then after the AC to DC conversion, the AC current can be calculated. So in the block diagram, you can see that when we are measuring the direct current, so here the circuit will be current to voltage converter means we are using the uh, voltage we are using the value of the shunt and we are directly calculating the value of the current but when we are measuring the ac current we have to pass it through the rectifier circuit so rectifier is going to convert the dc current into the ac current okay so the value of that ac current then will be digitized using this a to d converter and then we will get the digital output on the display screen next for the measurement of resistance So again for the resistance measurement we are going to use the Ohm's law. Ohm's law says that V equals to IR so R will be equals to V by I. 
so we want the uh, value of the voltage and the current so the resistance which we want to measure it will be connected with the digital multimeter digital multimeter is going to measure the voltage across this externally connected resistance and uh, this voltage is due to the current which is given by a calibrated current source so you can see here that in the diagram we are having the constant current source voltage is provided from here so we are going to measure the resistance by dividing these two values and then the analog value of the resistance will be converted into the digital value and we will get the value of the resistance on the screen so this is how the digital multimeter it is used for the various applications for the measurement of ac and dc voltages ac and dc currents and the resistance so in this video we studied that what is a digital multimeter what are the various parts of digital multimeter we studied the block diagram of the digital multimeter and then we studied the various applications or the various measurements done by the digital multimeter so i hope that this topic digital multimeter it is now understood to you thank you